In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the found dog flyer uh, on the Macintosh using Office 2013. First thing I do is go to the lesson and I go to the, uh, the learning resources. And in the learning resources, there is a data zip file. Double click that and it will unzip it into your clipboard on the Mac. When it's finished, double click the clipboard thing and you'll see that there are a number of files here. What we need are the dog one and dog two files. So I'm going to drag them to my desktop like that. Then I'll close that. Now I'm going to open Word, which is an icon on my on the bottom. I'm going to pick the default Word document option, and it opens a new document for me. First thing I'm going to do is just type in the text, not worrying about font or anything. So I'm going to uh, type in the text starting with found dog, make a few spaces before the rest of the text, and then type it in. I'm going to set my margins to one inch on all around. I'm moving around here a little bit. OK, this is after I've typed in the text. Now I'm going to drag the images in. And when you drag them in, you see they're too large. So you grab the corner of the image, and you can resize it smaller. So that's for that image. Now I'll drag the second image in. And I'll resize it. Now when I've resized them, I may have to reposition them on the screen. Images in Word need to have the Word Wrap set. So I'll show you how I'm going to set the Word Wrap here. Uh, let me make this one about the same size. Right click on the image and then click Word Wrap. And I've picked uh, top and bottom as the options. That means that text is going to be either above or below the image. Now I need to find my other image and put it in place here. They seem to bounce around a little more on <clears throat> Macintosh than they do on Word. <clears throat> so I've just put them in there. Now I'm going to format the found dog text. I highlight it, and then I'm going to pick the uh, Arial MT rounded bold font. If you don't have this one, pick something that just looks like it. Size 72, and that makes a nice big found dog thing. I'm going to change the color of the background. And I'm going to make it kind of a dark brownish thing. So I'm going to highlight the text, click the little background color thing, and it turns it to a brown. Now notice you can hardly read found dog. So I'm going to change the text for it to be kind of a light gray. You could make it white or whatever you wanted. OK. Now I'll position the images a little bit better. And now I'm going to add the glow to the image. So I, I click the image properties and look for the item called glow, and then add some light orange or light yellow glow to it. And you can see that it surrounds the image with a slight glow. It also happens to have moved it over. So I got to reposition it again. And I have to put the one on the left again. Then I'm going to reset its glow to uh, that same orange color. OK, so now I have the two images. Now you cannot uh, skew the images in Office 2013 on Mac, so don't worry about that. So I've moved the text up, and I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to make the font Arial. And I'm going to make it about 20 points in size. That looks about right. Okay. 
Now I'm going to highlight the, oops, first I'm going to respell spaniel. I'm going to highlight the bullet items and click the bullet tool that turns those three lines into a bullet list. I'm going to highlight Bailey and I'm going to italicize him. And I'm going to change his color to something like an orange. OK. Now I'm going to highlight the very last line. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to center it. So that completes the text and the images. Now I need to add a border. Oh, I think that I, I think I need to center found dog. You'll see that it's a little bit too far to the left. So I'm going to highlight it all and then click the center tool and it moves it right. Now to make the border, I'm going to click layout and go over to the border icon and then set the border to be some color like green. Now you have to set the size. I picked about three pixels. And then you have to pick all of the four sides. So I pick those. And last thing I need to do is change the padding, which is the space between the border and the margin. And I'm going to set all of the paddings to 20 pixels. So that's going to move the border out away from the text and everything. Click OK, and voila, there's my border. And it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to have to save the file. If I do a file save, or save as, it comes and tells me it's going to save as a PDF. Oh, I don't want that. So I click Settings. Or I, I, I go, go back to Word and click Preferences. And then I click Save to set the save settings. It's a little bit off the screen here, and I apologize for that. So this was new to me. Word Preferences. can find it. OK, there it is. And then I go down to Save Preferences. And right in the middle, it says it's going to save it as a PDF. So I change that to a docx file, which is the top on this list. That's the current file type for Word. You may have to save it as a doc file, which is fine. OK, then I'm going to finally save as and give it a name, found dog with my first name and my last name. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Wherever you want to save it is fine. Click Save. Forget all the gobbledygook. And I'm going to exit out. And sure enough, my file is over there somewhere. And if I double click it, it opens up in Word. So that's what you would turn in to Blackboard.